seems like the type of person who listens to this movie. Where's Grab? Come on, feel it. That's how you lose it up right here. It's all in. <laughs> John Dever never saw this coming. Woo! Okay. All right. Uh, hey, this is what we're going to do on this field right now. And this is more or less what we discussed last night as far as. Get in here. Get up on your ass. Come on. Closing games. Uh, so we're going to do attack and defend. All right. I know you guys have done a handful of those down here, but we're going to do a full field five on three. All right. We're going to start Woo. in our bunkers. This is a staple uh, drill that we've done forever since the dawn of paintball. Uh, Ryan was just pretty much any sport has a, a drill set that's like this, which is in game. One team is up a point, one team's down a point, and you can pretty much look back on any event that you've played, that you've watched, where this comes into play. So essentially, the way it works is we'll start in our spots all across the back. We'll have the five players stay, start down here, the three players will start down there. The five players have to start in the back five spots the corner to the three to one, back center this can and the corner, all right? You will have 90 seconds to get down to the other side of the field and hit the buzzer. Okay, so the buzzer is in play on this one. Very rare for me to allow that. You feel all right? I know, I know, I know. The three players over there, so the five guys will start with their uh, backs facing the field face, and their eyes on the net. The three players on the other side can start anywhere they want. Uh, I start behind. At What's that? Can I start at their start box then? Yeah, you can start at their start box. You can. <laughs> but they're all going to be looking at you. So yeah, we'll, yeah. Start, we'll start that one. Oh. We'll start with that one. So hey, all five guys, yeah, that's all five guys are going to be pointing directly at you. Maybe I'm going to let that one roll first point, actually. Uh, the, the three players can start anywhere they want from the God Bunker to the Dorito 2 back, okay? So you can be in any of these spots. You're, you are allowed to move as the three players. But you have to understand the consequences of you getting eliminated while or if moving. What's a god bunker? Uh, well, this would be the money bunker. The, the entry level to the uh, the entry level uh, bunker into the snake. I don't know that everybody's adapted the uh, PTG PC police. Um, oh no, it's just an ambiguous thing to say. It's god bunker. I just didn't know what it was. Okay, okay. It's not, it has nothing to do with god. Jesus okay. god. Yeah. Jesus god. Were you kidding? Are you really serious? Yeah, because well, Marcelo doesn't play. Actually, yeah, no, he really he's doesn't. Actually, no, he actually doesn't. Play. When he asked that, I thought he was. Tyler. Now we have clarity. Yeah. Chase you. Chase you. So what, do you, wait, wait. what do you use as the, go the answer? Well, uh, this is God. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you have we can see your lens. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, hey. So I was just checking out the God bunker, making sure it was inflated right. All good. We're solid. <laughs> uh, all right. So, does anybody have questions? This is a very, uh, a fairly simple Thank you. Thank you. drill. Uh, you, most of you, have done scenarios such th as this. So, if we excel at this, we can move on to something else. What do the three need up. to do? Communicate. Shoot people. Stay alive. Stay alive. Ah! There it is. What do the five need to do? Attack. Push. Hit the buzzer. Close the game out within 90 seconds. Together as a team. Yeah, that's sweet. Uh, do you guys think that we should be doling out laps kind of like immediately or should we let them make a couple mistakes? If you first? make a, a, a pretty blatant mistake, I've lost my patience, you're running laps. Oh yeah. If you were on the three side and you die within the first 30 seconds, you're running a lap. All right? Oh crap. Ah oh, crap. <laughs> because look, you guys, it, you're going to notice that any team where the, the three on the three side, if a player is eliminated in the first 30 seconds, so the other two guys are screwed. All right, you have a much higher likelihood of winning the point. And again, you win if time expires on the defensive side. Hey, let's right. bring it in a little tighter, really quick. Stand. Come on, get over here. <laughs> I'm tight. What? Yeah, you're wound tight. Listen, <clears throat> this is a very uh, simple drill. Five on three, time limit. Objective to hold, objective to win. Okay, so try not to really overthink it and focus in on, on what's happening. This is a situation where for the five, like the three, you know where the five are starting. It's a very vanilla starting position across the five, right? Across The five across the back line. As the three, you have some options and every one of you is gonna be switching through those roles. So as the five, 
Again, I don't want, if, I swear, if I hear you say it twice, you're gonna run a lap. What do you have? Let's all be responsible for finding the bodies and communicating across the field, right? Say what you know. Give, acquire the information and be the one to uh, educate your teammates on it. And let's just focus on closing things out smart. We've gone over a lot of things the last two days. Okay, I don't want to see regression. I want to see progression. If you're not sure, ask. Okay, what do you need? How can I help you? This is, hey, I know it's G2 and I know there's the four and the five. Do you know where the fifth body is? Okay, and again, if before, especially as Ryan said, you're the three, you make, you want, you want to make a move or even at the five, take a second and just look to your teammates and let's know what's going on. Let's just play smart. Okay. As the five players, paintball is all about pressure. It's just this, this uh, balance of pressure. So if, if I have just one player on my team applying pressure down the snake side, all the pressure goes to him, but nobody else makes moves off of it, we're probably gonna lose that player and that pressure and miss opportunities of free movement. Whenever a player makes a push into a 50, it draws pressure, allows movement on other areas of the field to make, take a bite, and then you can apply pressure to help get the pressure off of him. Then he can do more work. So it's this juggling act of pressure, right? So if you see one of your players make a move, know that windows have opened up for you to apply pressure somewhere else. Start making moves and taking bites out there on the field. All right, let's have some good solid team paintball. That's what it's all about, right? Team ball, pass that ball around, connect, shoot the guns, make moves. That's paintball. All right, let's go. Take the bite. Um, we're gonna tell, well, gonna tell you here. You're gonna be second. on a winning team. I'll tell you that much. Exactly. Come on. Don't split them in half, Nick. Because this is gonna be a disproportionate number. All right, just grab five. Send them down there. Grab three down here because there's gonna be more people playing on the five oh, side back to back. Five are down the far end. Five. What did I say? Five, you said five are here. Five are here. Yeah, three down the far end. Five down here. Five down here. Three on the far so, side. So hey, first five guys with guns. They got ready to play over here. Three down there. Let's hustle up. Let's go. You split them in half, then, then hey, too many people play down there, and then I was going to split them in half, and then as the number, like, so make sure I had, you were about to, you were about to be Jesus. You were over there, you got all high and mighty on the God thing, you got that beard and the fucking long hair going. Hey, Next thing you know, you were about to part. Personal sick. shots. Personal. People definitely cranked their shit up. Well, haven't you crawled already? Make sure you have a uh, yeah, Allen wrench as well. So oh, you're good, dude. Come on. You're good. We're good. What's up? What's oh, shit. Hey, Ty. Oh, you need, you need chrono again? Yeah, I was like, will show that you guys provide safety. Be Chrono. Not ready? It's killed two. Five seconds. Five seconds. Five. Go! can do that's positive is think about where the problem was, right? Yeah. The problem was we had a player get into the snake that we didn't know, which is one of the biggest problems. No, no, I knew he was there. No, I knew. I put Marco on I cross. I knew I asked to snake tree and a third 50. I put Marco on cross and then Marco decided to go back to D. So we knew the snake was there. I don't so hold on, I'm asking a question. Did we know the snake was there? Yes. Yes. Okay, so the information didn't get to him, so then that's where it was. No. He's he, dead no, before. I, I was dead already. He was dead already. Yeah. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. 
the information of a player getting into the snake did not get connected in the... To us it did. He was dead already. But I understand. You're missing the point. Okay, I'm not catching. Sorry. Okay, we lost our player. That's a problem. Yes. How did we lose our player? He didn't know the snake was hot, right? Okay, that's the problem. Okay, that's a, that's a big problem because he's the guy watching the snake. I don't know what to tell you. A player got into the snake, shot our guy because he didn't know, so that's where okay. the problem was. Yeah. So the best way we can solve that is by having eyes somewhere in the snake. Yeah, it like would actually. Rush. It was him. Well, actually, here's the thing: you can't stop this snake. So we need to actually assume that the player's in the 50 or in that snake area, because it's so hard to control a snake like this with all the blind spots. You right. can't see him get in. So we have to assume from here on out the in snake there. is hot. Yeah. yeah. Okay. What I let's go. My mistake was that let's go. I thought they would run that front to the snake. Okay. Yeah. What's your favorite thing about summer camp? Uh, hanging out with Nick, obviously. Gang, gang. <laughs> uh, man, it's just the, the relationships. Your line? What's that? He said gang, gang. That's not his line. I know, that's Ronnie's line. Oh. Clearly. He's just stealing his Come on, stuff. dude. Uh, the camaraderie, the sportsmanship, the, uh, the timeless memories that we get to make out here teaching this amazing game that we all love. All of us invest our lives into making sure this game has the best light possible. And we got the future out here playing paintball, having fun, and learning the various techniques that it takes to be good at this sport. So could you say being a part of something like this helps ensure your future legacy lives on through the future of the players in the sport? Absolutely, yeah. And these are things that are like tried and true, timeless techniques that we've learned over decades of pro paintball and just paintball in general from the woods to the airball field. And these guys are, uh, you know, look, taking right after Nick, learning everything he knows. <laughs> Pretty soon I'll be out of a job. Thank God. <laughs> All right, Ty. Nice. I'm not standing right there. You're crazy. I need you, bro. Yeah, right. Get me out of there. <laughs> 
What's on your tape? What? There you go. Stay to the tape. Get your gun up. Get your Quarter gun up. Get your gun up. Corner on me. Pivot. What's the kill count? Game. Yeah, so when you came up over. Over complicated. There's only three of them. So yeah. identify who's in front of you. And as soon as you're the widest guy, as soon as you get up here and you look inside, you give up everything you just had on the outside. Just like what we talked about. I should be 90% out here and only look in if I really have to. Really only if my teammate tells me to look inside. Damn, it's like you've been told this before. Yeah, it's like I just need to remember what I was told. What? Go! Because he was pinned. So I, called, I went down there. That was perfect. Right? Like that. What I'm saying is, don't die here. And you can easily come up here, grab draw the gun, pressure. Because imagine gun. this. Now that guy's worried about you right here. And me, I. Marco okay. comes here and shoots him in the gun. Look at this. Easy. Easy. Yeah. There's the guy's gun shooting at you right here. Marco comes right into this yeah. thing and shoots and him. And then that kill is done. And now I got the whole side of the field. Wrap the side of the Yeah. Okay. Yep. Got it. Do it all yourself. Yep. Thanks. What's your favorite part about camp so far this week, Ryan? Uh, you know, I like that they're the aggression that some of these guys are playing. I mean, I love these Canadian guys. They're great, man. These uh, saw some older guys on the team, fifty in their fifties and forties, and they're just sending it. Um, you know, the camp's going great. The weather's a little roasty, a little toasty, but uh, definitely some really good talent out here, and that's exciting. So, how does it make you feel when you see international players coming to camps like these that you've been an integral part of since the inception of it? Yeah, man, we, we've had actually a pretty steady flow of international players uh, after the first year, maybe even in the first year. You know, we got some Canadians. We've got a, a, a player from Mexico, a really good player from Mexico. We've got a German here. Uh, so it's, it's actually really cool to see international players really wanting to up their game 
and and bring that sort of information back to their teams and back to where their nations are and really get a leg up over there. So because none of this will get seen till after the camp, is there anyone you think that's like running for the standout player? Or? Um, you know, I think John L is 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 really up there. Also, uh, uh, Landon is playing really really well. There's a handful of guys that are really on that top t- tier. Churro, the top five guys are are, are really standing out for sure. So you might uh, assemble your own team to go. We're, we're going to be doing the draft. The draft tonight. Yeah. The good no, news no, no, is. No, no, no. I mean, like after the camp, you need to build your own. Like, yeah, I know. Well, actually, the new, the good news is that I will officially, for sure, beat Marcelo in this one because he's not here. <laughs> and that's a W for me if I count it. Let's go, Don. Don, let's go. Let's go. Go. Right here. Right here. Go. Run. 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 Quick. Faster than that. That's not a run. That's not a run. Here go, Pat. Here go, Pat. Hey, Pat, get, get Don to come in here with you. Hey, Don. Don, come here. No, into the into the wedge. Go up there. We're crossing the wedge. Get her moving. Get her moving. Go to the wedge. Get to the wedge, Don. Move, move faster, Don. Hey, ho! better, right? Just go. When I say run, I want you to run. <laughs> okay. Good job. Hey, and when you knew you heard the kill two, kill two, at least one player left, you knew he was there, I want you to go get him next time, okay? I want you to just go launch and get him. Hey, Sean. All right? Yeah. Can you hear me say kill the snake? Yeah, yeah. Hey, good job, guys. Good communication. I really need to get her to break out of that shell. You know what I can say though that I've observed from her that I don't from everyone else? Even though she moves slow, she always moves behind her gun. Yes, yes. Her yeah, gun is always up. She definitely has her gun up. You know, they come from, her Her and Lily come from a, a, a family of woods ball scenario players. Okay. So I've, 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 I've played with uh, and alongside of and I've watched her, I watched uh, Lily grow up from uh, the last several years and they're big on gun fighting and real big on gun being gun control, gun heavy. Uh, we just need them to... You know, we need to get that, that, you know, they're young, so we just need to get them in there. And I mean, in going from woods ball to this is probably intimidating. Attack. That's what we need, this.
Turn around. Turn you around. Have to there we go. We need to get these snake out. going to automatically turn into me. He's going to automatically turn Good into me. Good on this side. Yeah. Or he's going to try to get it. Listen up. Yeah, Bob. Bob. Go. Spots, right? Oh, yeah. That part was easy. Okay? You got the just need to be a little bit more explosive through here. Or if you came in this way, no one would have seen you. Okay? You could have crawled all the way up. But it's okay because you tried. Alright? So now we were in there. Did that hurt? No? Alright, well good. Now we got it out of our system. Let's keep pressing it. So what what did I say all day yesterday when there was a defense off? A little bit. Let's go. Get over here! Let's go! Come on! We need to be moving a little bit more here. Well, I mean, to, yeah, to a point. I know what I'd like to say. All right, my gripes. All right, let's say What's it. your gripes? You. I'm your gripes? That's, that's, that you makes made it sense. made easy on me. My gripe is you moved too close to my lens. Oh. Uh, yeah, you kept stepping away from me, and I was like, where's he going? Get it yeah, now, 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 yeah, I, I realized it. Change I realized your focal it. length. I would if the other guy wasn't using it. Well, all I'm hearing is excuses. I mean, yeah. Go! I should just go buy another three thousand dollar lens. That's the real answer. Jeez. Yeah. Nice. All right. I don't have uh, any major gripes with the uh, the three, other than you have, like the one thing I'll say about the guy the three. You have to turn the pressure on. You you, you notice you lose somebody and you know what their job was their their zone of coverage, and you have to switch to pick that up. Don't poke your head out and look for the target to shoot at. You've all been playing this field, come out shooting. Okay, when you come out shooting and you, you make yourself known, you become a target, you force people to shoot at you, to engage you, instead of giving them the opportunity to make moves. And the flip side of that is the five is the attackers. If you're not getting shot at, make the moves. A lot of you, I'm saying on this Dorito side, are getting into your positions and you're hunting for stuff. Check off. You're getting down the Doritos and you're looking inside. For what? Play the tape. Okay, the biggest thing that should be happening right away at the start, when you sit, decide where the, the three bodies are, find them and identify the weak side. If they're spread vanilla, three across the back, one on the Doritos, one in the center, one on the right, who's shooting at who? Who's holding the zone? Hey, can you go around me? Hey, I need you to apply pressure to this guy to have him switch so I can make the move. These are things we need to be looking for. But not getting from spot to spot and hunting for targets and shooting our guns. Like, realize, if you're the five, realize the three guys, they don't, they don't want to engage you recklessly and die. They have to hold out for 90 seconds. And if you are the three and you find yourself doing that, what are you doing? Cut that shit out. Survive. Shoot your gun, fill the lanes, apply the pressure, keep the pressure on. 90 seconds, man. If I gotta live for 90 seconds, I am not coming off my gun. I'm blasting everything. 
paying attention to what the body language of my teammates are doing and knowing where we're at. That's it. Right. Pick it up where I left off. <laughs> um, all right, so we're going to change some things up oh. because I feel like the sense of urgency was lost on this uh, attack side. We didn't quite process the idea of attack versus defend. The defensive guys got it. With the exception of some bad deaths here and there, for the most part, you were in spots and you weren't making mistakes. The problem is, and this is kind of the problem with the direction of paintball in general lately, is the offensive guys were playing no mistake paintball. They were like out and they, you guys had guys in the back center until I was screaming at you to move within like after a minute. We don't need to be holding lanes. You know why? They're up a point and they're smarter than you. That's why. We need to be collectively moving down the field. In that last point, you guys won, <laughs> but you had Matt crawling into the snake 50 and Creamsicle and Pat, you guys were still in your first spots. You waited for him to die, give up all this extra real estate, then you have to fight through it again. As soon as my guy gets in there and I need to score a point, I'm right behind him, standing there, shooting people in the guns. That happened on the Dorito side many times. We would get one person up there and the other guy would still be in the back original spot going, well, I'm not sure if this my player's gonna win or lose the game. And then they would die or they would win and then you'd kind of be sitting there and then have to take all that ground again. We need to put more pressure, okay? So we're gonna change the drill slightly to, to reiterate. Play on a string, play on a string. If yeah. you don't know what I, that means, it means if your player moves, you're attached to him and he's pulling you with him. You gotta go right up as close as you can. Maybe, you know, a bunker behind, two bunkers behind max and be right next to each other. What that does, it allows for tighter communication, right? Yeah. Not only tighter communication, but now, like Ryan said, you're wrapping, you're shooting guns, you're shooting packs, you're shooting a bunch of different stuff that maybe your teammate can't see or needs help seeing so that he can make another move and you guys are connected. You gotta stay connected, play on a string together, all right? Lots of good movement, um, good teamwork, good comms, let's keep boosting the communication and let's get this next one rolling. What's the variation on it? So the variation, we're gonna do the same.